Travis Barker rushed to the hospital with wife Courtney by his side. What we know about his condition. I'm okay with a bad day or a rough day with you than a day without you. R. Kelly sentenced the dramatic moments from court. A stiff prison sentence sends a message to the world. One, no one is above the law. Dakota Johnson's Fifty Shades Confessions. I'm so proud of these projects, and it was really difficult. For the first time, she describes mayhem behind the scenes. I know what I signed up for. Inside Brittany and Sam's fairy tale marriage. She's amazing. The husband thing hasn't hit me yet. Just seeing the, the sparkle in her eyes, and more than anyone, she deserves this happy ending. ET's The Download starts right now. We begin with Travis Barker rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. In these photos, you can see the drummer on a stretcher with his wife, Kourtney Kardashian, by his side in a black sweatsuit. TMZ was the first to report that it all started with a trip to an LA area medical facility. Doctors there sent him to the ER, and an ET source says he was diagnosed with pancreatitis, the possible cause, a recent colonoscopy. According to the Mayo Clinic, some symptoms can include fever, nausea, and our source says Travis was sick with intense pain in his abdomen. As all of this was happening, Travis tweeted, God save me. His daughter Alabama asked for prayers too. And she also posted, then deleted, this photo holding her dad's hand in the hospital. Travis's health scare comes just a month after he and Courtney exchanged vows in Italy. I've never in my whole life dreamt of getting married until Travis and until this relationship. We're really seeing your love story with your soulmate on the new show. Okay. We're just, you know, living our best lives and <laughs> yeah. And on the other side of the country was Travis's son Landon. He hit the stage last night in New York with his dad's longtime friend Machine Gun Kelly. Die in California. Die in California. Avril Lavigne, who has a track with MGK on her latest album, also shared the stage at Madison Square Garden. She sang some of her throwback hits. But it's what went down at MGK's after party that has social media talking. Well, I don't give a This is a Machine Gun Kelly posted this video, smashing a champagne flute on his head. He then performed a song with blood dripping down his face. He left the after party with blood stains on his shirt. You can see him earlier in the night, hand in hand with his fiance, Megan Fox. And some other stars who celebrated include A-Rod and his lady love, Catherine Paget, Avril's fiance, Maude's son, and Dixie D'Amelio. Dixie's sister, Charlie, was also there, hand in hand with Travis's son, Landon. And things are heating up between the two. A source tells ET the 18 year olds are officially dating. They have a lot in common and are enjoying each other's company. Charlie was previously linked to fellow TikTok star Lil Huddy. Here's what she told ET's Kevin Frazier about that relationship two years ago. Wait a minute. <laughs> Little Huddy is your. Uh, <laughs> Great, he's a really, really sweet boy. She's just been the sweet kid from the go. Just a very sweet, like outgoing, bubbly human being. Like that's 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 just Charlie. That's that's who she is. The question now: Will Landon take any PDA notes from his dad? <laughs> I've never seen my dad this happy before. I'm really happy for him. And I know it's gonna last really long and be an amazing part of our lives and our journey. I just think people have trouble understanding how two people can be so in love and affectionate because they're miserable. All right, moving on to R. Kelly, sentenced to 30 years behind bars in connection with his racketeering and sex trafficking case. Today's sentencing in a New York federal court comes nine months after the singer's conviction on nine charges dating back decades. Prosecutors called the singer a predator who used his celebrity status to prey on young women and children, and that his entourage of managers and aides helped him carry out his crimes. The allegations that were levied against R. Kelly are something that you don't hear every day, thankfully so. So a stiff prison sentence sends, sends a message to the world, one, no one is above the law. Now before his sentence was handed down, several of his victims gave powerful impact statements, including Angela, who reportedly told Kelly, with every addition of a new victim, you grew in wickedness. We are no longer the preyed upon individuals we once were. I pray that God reaches your soul. 
This as newly unsealed court documents are revealing disturbing new details about Kelly's past, including physical and sexual abuse he allegedly endured as a child. Kelly's lawyers filed the letter seeking leniency, citing the singer's traumatic past. Kelly, who's still facing trial in Chicago and additional charges, never testified in his own de defense, but did speak to Gail King back in 2019, denying all allegations against him. Fighting for my life! Y'all killing me with this I gave y'all 30 years of my career! Robert. I also thought a couple of times that maybe we're witnessing a breakdown as it's happening. During last year's trial, Kelly's accuser testified about the sexual, physical, and emotional abuse suffered at the hands of Kelly. In 2019, victims also shared their harrowing stories in the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly. I didn't know how to say no. All of a sudden, his tongue is in my mouth. Robert, you know what you did? You know the turmoil you brought into my kid's life. You can deny all you want to. And for that, you can go to hell. Mm. All right, hard pivoting now to some much happier news. Fairy tales do come true, even for guys. Just ask Britney Spears' new hubby, Sam Asghari. He shared details from their magical wedding day on GMA. You know, it's just surreal, man. It's uh, It's been a minute. It was way overdue for us, and uh, we imagined this thing being a fairy tale, and it was. And we only had like 50 to 70 people. We wanted to just celebrate, uh, and that's what we did. And for the first time, Sam's publicly thanking Britney for helping his career. He's getting ready to star in the film Hot Seat, and only E.T. has this exclusive sneak peek. This has a bone to pick with the city. Let's discuss asset elimination. I didn't really get noticed until, you know, uh, my wife gave me, like, this amazing uh, platform to work with, so I'm always appreciated of that. But let's not take away from the fact that I've been working hard and I was already acting. Just being in a relationship with someone that has achieved so much, so many great things, and uh, at such a young age, uh, kind of gives me uh, the understanding and, and, and teaches me so much for the little things I'm going to achieve. You know, I think my invitation was lost in the mail. Mine too. We didn't have that happen. to their big wedding, but... Is it somewhere around here? Uh, right? But Paris Hilton was among the lucky few who did attend the wedding. I actually asked her about that pic right here that you're seeing that mm -hmm. is taking over the internet last night at an event for the Hilton Group Estates Company. What do you make of the internet calling you gals, you, Selena, Drew, Madonna, the Avengers? <laughs> so cute. The amount of memes and things that people have made, they are so creative. What was the highlight of Brit's wedding for you to see? Everything, just her walking down the aisle and just seeing the, the sparkle in her eyes and you know, more than anyone, she deserves this happy ending. You have been there every step of the way for her. It's really incredible to see how amazing of a friend you are. Well, I love her so much. She's an angel. Meanwhile, angel Katie Holmes and musician boyfriend Bobby Wooten are going strong after a few months together. And get this, he's got Suri's seal of approval. A source tells ET that Bobby and Katie's daughter with Tom Cruise, who's now 16 years old, what? have met and they quote, get along great. Adding that Suri has always been Katie's number one priority. I gave my daughter a special thanks. She makes every day great and awesome and, and better, and I know myself more because of her. Katie and Bobby made their red carpet debut in New York last month, a source previously telling E.T. they're perfectly matched. Adele and Rich Paul made it a perfect and very glam mm -hmm. date night at NBA star Kevin Love's black and white ball inspired wedding over the weekend. It was just like a movie. It was just like a soul. Kevin married Sports Illustrated model Kate Bach at the New York Public Library. And an ET source says Adele and her sports agent boyfriend were super cute and attentive to one another. Love was in the air and they were definitely feeling it. They even showed off some moves on the dance floor with other celeb guests, including LeBron James. Our source adds there was a no phones rule, so everyone just let loose and partied. Now, while Adele and Rich are living their best lives, a source is telling ET that Bill Hader and Anna Kendrick 
have broken up. The fact that they were even together might actually surprise you since they really kept it on the DL. But a source says they've been dating for quite a while after co-starring in the Disney Plus Christmas movie Noel in 2019. And as recently as March, a source told us they were in love, happy, and in no rush to get engaged. Bill was, of course, previously married to film director Maggie Carey and has three kids with her. He also dated Rachel Bilson, who had some strong words about splits on her podcast two weeks ago. I went through a really hard breakup, and it was during the pandemic, and I could not leave my house. Like, I couldn't, you know what I mean? And so I had nothing else to do but sit in it and deal with it and feel it. And mm. harder than childbirth, even though, like, it hurt like a <laughs> but like if you actually face it you can come out of it and be like okay i'm moving on to joey king who's kicking some royal butt in her new movie the princess i was with the actress who tells me she got some pointers from the one and only brad pitt <laughs> what did you learn from brad about stunt work I mean, Brad is just like so agile and impressive and gorgeous. There's a lot to learn from someone who can pull off all of those at the same time. We are right on schedule. Joey's definitely using those skills she learned in her action-packed fairy tale film out July 1st on Hulu. Joey is the princess, fighting to save her family and their kingdom, turning the damsel in distress narrative inside out. What did training look like ahead of these fight scenes? Training was pretty, um, pretty intense. I had never done something like this before. I did know for a fact that I wanted to get to a point in my training process where I was able to do most of my own fighting, most of my own stunts. 85 to 90% of what you see on screen is actually me. I would be like sitting there like just theragunning my legs at night, like crying. Next up for Joey, a Netflix rom-com with Nicole Kidman and Zac Efron. Your late 90s baby, were you a huge Zach fan growing up? Absolutely. Oh my god, are you kidding? <laughs> of course I was. And he is, I mean, I can't wait to work with him. Between all of these films, girl, when are you wedding planning? Right? <laughs> I'm just honestly like getting into the thick of wedding planning, but also I'm just like so enjoying being engaged. I'm so happy for you. Are, is this a little tease for the wedding dress? Or are you going to go a little smaller? Can you imagine? <laughs> oh my God. No, I hope not. I mean, I do like the idea of dramatics, but this but... is just like, I'm schwitzing under, I'm like chafing. You know who knows a thing or two about celeb weddings? Mm. Selena Gomez. She was actually a part of Britney Spears' girl squad recently. And there she is. I had the chance <laughs> to catch up with Selena and her only murders in the building squad on the season two premiere red carpet. How would you guys fare as real life neighbors? Do you think these guys would make good neighbors? Oh, fantastic. I don't know. I don't know. But this one would be nice. All I what if you have a lot of parties? I don't know. I would, I would be I would. hanging on Selena's fence going, quiet down. Maybe not. Turn off the Neither music. would be good. I would definitely have louder parties than Steve. We are getting the hang of this. Absolutely. What are our plans for Selena's 30th birthday? They're going to be at home in bed by the time yeah. I... Yeah. You guys aren't throwing... You, you said you throw wild parties. Well, I'll just be getting in when it starts, yeah. <laughs> I hope it happens by 10 a.m. so I can celebrate it. Season 2 is streaming now on Hulu. And get this, Selena's fans will soon get to celebrate her new music. I'm actually working on it right now. It's just been a little hectic with this, but I am I am in the studio. I'm excited. Look at her now. Gibeon just wanted you to hear his music at the BET Awards, but a busted mic just wouldn't let him shine. Here's a painful little reminder. Cause I remember every time So after the awards, he tweeted that BET sabotaged his performance, but the poor guy was only joking, folks. Don't worry. Last night on Jimmy Fallon, he attempted to clean up the mess. Right now, you, to, to whatever camera you want to, would you like to give you and explain yourself? Oh my, is this the same mic? I, I don't know if I trust the mic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> BET did not sabotage me. I'm positive VT supports me and would never purposely alter my voice. Anyway, um, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, Dakota Johnson, on the other hand, has some beef with her breakout role. For the first time, she's pulling back the curtain on what she calls mayhem behind the scenes of the Fifty Shades franchise. 
so proud of these projects and it was really difficult. I had notes and the producer had notes. I felt brave enough to do that role, but I really needed um, to feel safe. In a profile for Vanity Fair, the actress says she hasn't been able to talk about these experiences until now. Christian Grey. I'm Anastasia Steele. Years after her breakout role, Dakota confesses she, quote, signed up to do a very different version of the film we ended up making. I emailed my manager at the time. I think I want to audition for that. I feel like it could be really cool. So what happened? For Dakota, E.L. James, who penned the best-selling book series, wielded a little too much influence. She tells the mag she had a lot of creative control and she just demanded certain things happen, calling it mayhem. I was there, uh, yeah, every day. Despite the behind-the-scenes drama, Dakota says E.L. was always kind to her. I know what I signed up for. And looking back on the experience now, she has no regrets. There's been a lot of twists and turns on the way, and and uh, and I'm so grateful for all of them. On to a movie that's Fifty Shades of Funny. <laughs> ah, I see. It that. has been ten years since Mark Wahlberg teamed up with a teddy bear to bring the laughs in Ted. How fun was the effect of the character that was in Daryl? You know, it was a blast because Seth was actually right off camera. That's Mark a decade ago on working with Seth MacFarlane, Ted's writer, director, and the voice behind the foul-mouthed title character. And the bear's moves? Well, those are all Seth, too. That was a conscious choice. There's just a piece of humanity that you miss in that, and you can really only get it from the motion capture technology. I wanted to give Mark and I the freedom to improvise, to make things kind of casual, to record our voices with the same mics bouncing off the same walls and really make it feel like the bear was there with him. You know what I like to do to her? Something I call a dirty fuzzy. Ted became one of the highest grossing R-rated comedies ever and starts with a wish from Mark's character John to bring his childhood toy to life. Just grab your thunder buddy and say these magic words. F you, thunder! Is there anything that scared you as a child that still scares you today? No, I'm not affected by like thunder or any of those things. A prison. <laughs> prison prison scares, scares you, yeah. But Ted, who's a Teddy Ruxpin ripoff, threatens to ruin his adult relationship with Mila Kunis. Baby, please ask Ted to move out so we can move on with our lives. Mark and Mila, were they on your short list the entire time? Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, he, he can do comedy with the best of them. All right, Brandy, Heather, Channing, Brianna, Amber, Sabrina, Melody, Dakota, Sierra, Bambi, Crystal, Samantha, Autumn, Ruby, Taylor, Tara, Tammy. And yet it's somebody who still had to be able to do things like the fight scene with Ted. And Mila? She and Seth were old friends from Family Guy. I matter! Shut up, Meg, you don't matter. Mila I had worked with for 10 years. You don't see many women who look like that who can also deliver a joke. Oh my god, I got some on my phone! The movie included surprise cameos from the likes of Ryan Reynolds. This is uh, Jared. He's the guy who beat me up, and uh, we're in love. Huh? And another Ted, Ted Danson. Woody Harrelson. Smallest I've ever seen on a man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Word of mouth buzz led to a worldwide box office haul near $550 million and a Best Original Song nomination at the Oscars. Everybody needs a best friend. I'm happy I'm yours. I was lucky enough to be able to bring this bear to life in exactly the way that I wanted. I, I loved it. Actually, one of the best working experiences I've ever had. One, two, three, yeah! I love me some Marky Mark. I, we need another Ted. I would love a Ted in real life so I could get drunk and hang out with a teddy bear. It just sounds like fun. That. All right, on to another major milestone. A look back at JT's Grammy winning Love Stone 15 years later and how Jersey Shore's Angelina is dealing with her public divorce. There's a lot of stuff that people don't really know that has been going on for a long time between us. ET's The Download will be right back.
DC, beat your feet. Oh, long I before, guess. I know, long before he blamed his khakis for those dance moves last week, Justin Timberlake was embarking on major solo success with the release of his second studio album, Future Sex Love Sounds. The fourth single from that project was released 15 years ago. She's got the love stone, and I swear she's bad and she knows. I think that she knows. The album as a whole won him four Grammy Awards, including Best Dance Recording for Love Stoned, I Think She Knows. JT also won four MTV Video Music Awards in 2007, including Artist of the Year. Now, E.T. spoke with him right after his performance with Timbaland and Nelly Furtado. She looks like a model, except she's got a little more ass. your performance. I mean, it was electric. So I'm asking you to rate yourself. Oh, I give myself um, a six and a half with a really good personality that bumps it up to a seven. <laughs> so here's a fun fact. JT was just a few months into his romance with Jessica Biel at the time of that interview. The two married five years later in Italy, and they've had two boys, Silas and Phineas, since. And they'll celebrate their 15th wedding anniversary in October. Can we talk about, can we talk about the wife first? Yeah. She looks incredible. I, that's my favorite topic. There's only one me. Once you find that person is like a baptism where you're like, I can't go back, you know what I mean? I think I kind of knew that he was my person sort of early on. I think before we got married, that's when I was like, oh yeah, this is the person I want to, I want to be in the boat with when we hit the rapids. When are you guys going to do something together? You know, we talk about that a lot, but... We do a lot of things together. <laughs> Well, we know this. You know, Justin said he wants to have as many babies as possible. Did about you say that? that? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. I, I think it'd be it'd be amazing to have a bigger family. <laughs> now to the Jersey Shore star who had her wedding and soon her divorce play out on reality TV. Angelina Pavarnik. And she's opened up to ET's Rachel Smith about life after her tumultuous split. You are divorced. How are you feeling? Um, it's been a struggle, like, mentally. Like, divorce is not an easy thing to go through. It's what had to happen, and yeah. there's a lot of stuff that people don't really know that has been going on for a long time between us. You don't know what was happening. Like, literally, my husband was like, well, now he's my ex, but there was a lot of things he was doing. Angelina says her two-year marriage to Chris was emotionally difficult for her, but the season premiere of Jersey Shore Family Vacation dropped some new revelations. Like, Angelina had a hookup in Mexico before for her divorce. On top of that, she sent the pics to the situation. I've been feeling alone in this marriage for a long time. Chris left again. He moved out. What about you and Benny? Might there be a possibility? Oh God. Some sparks what? there? Everybody wants it. I'm like, why? Like, Do what? you want it? No, 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 no. I like, don't believe it. We are friends, but I think he wants it more, obviously. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I've been there, done that, you know? You never know, though. They say, you know, never say never, but I don't think so. Well, Angelina's not waiting around. She even jetted off to the Canary Islands to take part in Paramount Plus's new reality competition show, All Star Shore. She joins other reality stars like Blake Hortzman from Bachelor in Paradise and Giannina Gabelli from Love is Blind, hoping to win $150,000. Basically, we were getting lit together all day, every day, but like we had challenges. We had to do challenges every day. What did you learn about yourself in the process? that I'm not gonna be taken for granted anymore by a man. I'm good right now alone, and eventually I will find my Prince Charming out there. Well, you gotta kiss a lot of tan Italians and muscle teeth before you find your prince, right? I'm sure she's gonna be great. She'll All right, be fine. that's gonna do it for us today. Tune in tomorrow for another episode of ET's The Download. Bye. I thought you were gonna say kiss a lot of frogs. <laughs>